Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a low cost luxury video to show you one of the great finds from either Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Today what I picked up from TJ Maxx was the Marc Jacobs Up All Night 5 Piece Petite Lamarck Lip Cream Collection. This I got at TJ Maxx for $24.99. So it comes in a package. Uh, this was probably a Christmas item or a Christmas bundle from either last year or the year before. And it comes with a little purse and five lip creams inside. In one of my previous videos, I had done a low cost luxury on the Marc Jacobs Lamarck lip cream and it is actually one of my favorite lip formulas or lipstick formulas. So when I saw this as a five piece kit, I was pretty excited and picked it up immediately. The surprising thing was this was not in the cosmetics area. It was actually over in the fragrances and I'm thinking it was probably just an employee who didn't quite read what it was and they just, placed it over on the fragrance display. To my luck, I happened to be going in that area, just walking by, and I noticed the packaging and took a look and was very excited to see that it was the Lamarck lipsticks. So, let's get into this. I'm gonna show you all the colors, how they wear, how they feel, and just a little review on the Lamarck lip creams in these different colors. And it's a cute little purse, little clutch with a tassel zipper. And then inside are the five lipsticks. The first color is No Angel. Then Slow Burn. Oh Miley, Miss Scarlet, and finally Scandal. So I'm just going to try each one of them on and let you see how they look on the lips. So first one, No Angel. So this packaging isn't quite as nice as the normal packaging. The regular Lamarck lipsticks have a magnetic closure, very durable feeling. This one, not magnetic, very plasticky, but it is a mini, so I can't complain too much. The formula itself does feel the exact same. It's very creamy, highly pigmented, and comfortable on the lips. So here is No Angel. I feel it's a little warm for my skin tone, but not a bad nude lip. It does give a little more pigment than kind of just washing my face out, so not too bad. I would probably add a lip gloss, a little bit of a pinky lip gloss on top of it. Or just keep it in theme and maybe add a little sugar sugar. I'll try it, see how sugar sugar looks on top of No Angel. I think that looks really good. So this is a great neutral lip. If I were doing a dark eye, I would probably definitely reach for this No Angel and Sugar Sugar for a night out or anytime. Okay, and on to the next. And now the next color I'm going to try is Slow Burn, which is a little more pigmented, mauve-y. So I really like this. This looks like my lip color, but a little deeper. 
So this would be a really nice every day for me. So there's Slow Burn. And now on to the next lip color. Okay, so the next is Oh Miley. And this is a nice scarlet red color. I think this one is gorgeous. It complements my skin tone well. It's not too orangey or pulling either way. I think it's sitting at a pretty neutral red. I really like this Oh Miley color. And now for the fourth color. Okay, and now I have Miss Scarlet. And this is a deep, kind of dark burgundy color. So this is gorgeous, especially now falls coming along with deeper, darker eye looks and clothing looks. I think a, a deep dark red is beautiful during the fall and winter time. And now on to the last color. Okay, and now on to the last color. My lips are actually very thankful we are moving on to the last color. It's not difficult to remove this lipstick, but it is starting to kind of stain around, so I have to wipe off a little harder each time as the colors get darker. But now for the final color, I've got Scandal, which is a beautiful deep purple color. Okay, so there's Scandal. This one is probably the most patchy of all of the colors, likely because it's the darkest, so its opacity is a little bit more apparent. Um, but just a couple coats to get this on, and it is gorgeous. Definitely giving a more gothic feel, um, but in a very beautiful glam vampire sort of way. So here is Scandal. I, I'm gonna wear this one the rest of the day. Um, it goes well with my purple eyeshadow and I I'm trying to send out fall vibes in Fort Lauderdale. It is still extremely hot and humid, so maybe if I will it and wish it, some breezes will head this way. <laughs> Likely not, we have about another two months of warmth until the temperature slightly decreases, but there's always wishful thinking. But anyway, let me know what sort of high-end products you are able to find out at TJ Maxx or Marshalls, especially if you're able to get your hands on the Marc Jacobs, pretty much anything Marc Jacobs. I had also seen a lips, Lamarck lipstick and mini mascara when I was at TJ Maxx one day. I pretty much had to decide, do I want the mini lipstick? It, it was in slow burn and an extra mascara the velvet noir or do i want to go for the five lipsticks the five lipsticks one out they were twice the price but i felt since this is my new found favorite form lipstick formula i had to go with the lipsticks i've got plenty of mascaras that i love i did try the mark jacobs mascara in that mascara review which i will link down below i try my entire mascara collection and since I already have one of those mascaras, I opted for the full range of lipsticks. So leave me a comment if you're able to find anything and what have been your favorite recent finds. And until then, happy hunting and thanks for watching.